I never thought I was lonely in my cancer journey, but I was, really. And it's amazing to have people around you who may not go through exactly the same thing, but they still understand. I think it was 2017 I started feeling not great. There were some symptoms, but I didn't know what it was. I um, went to see a doctor. He said it was probably okay. Later, I went to see a second doctor who said it was probably okay. And then in 2019, when I went to see a third doctor, she said, this is not okay. We did a series of tests and I found out I had, uh, at that moment, stage three rectal cancer. Starting with chemo and radiation, and then surgery, where I got uh, a stoma, um, an ileostomy, um, and then four months of chemotherapy. After that, we thought I was okay, but six months later, we found out through a routine scan that the little dots in my lungs um, were the same kind of cancer. And um, with that, I was stage four, and um, my cancer is very hard to get rid of. So as we speak, those, those dots are still um, in my body and we're just trying to uh, make them grow as slowly as we can. When I was diagnosed, um, I mean, five months after, I was, four months after I was diagnosed, COVID started. So that was a whole different world. After my second uh, series of treatments, I found that my life was starting to get very small. It's very hard to lead a full life when you never know what you're doing next week. If you're going to be on chemotherapy or on radiation or you have doctor's appointments and then there are the occasional visits to the, the emergency department. Then a friend brought me here and um, it was amazing that people understood all that. And I found that um, I, I never thought I was lonely in my cancer journey, but I was, really. And it's amazing to have people around you who may not go through exactly the same thing, but they still understand. Apart from that, Majlis um, Al-Amal by Al-Jalila Foundation gives us very practical things, um, exercise classes that we can actually <laughs> participate in even though we've had surgeries and, and alterations to our bodies. I've had an amazing talk with a psychologist here that has helped me so much in um, dealing with the stress of blood tests and scans and where, you know, in my case it's not is there cancer, it's always yeah there's cancer but how much is there? That's very, very stressful um, every couple of months. To be honest, 20 years ago, we didn't talk about breast cancer either. And now we have the huge pink uh, October month where, where we do talk about it. And, and I really hope that we can reach that point on colorectal cancer as well. Because people, first of all, need the awareness of what to look for, what, how to know your body. If your bathroom habits are changing, it is often a, re a reason to go and see your doctor. Secondly, we, we, it's amazing to have support of, in this case, our sisters, to be able to talk about stupid little things and find that, oh, we, but we all have that. And they can be things that you, you might be really worried about. And, but for us, you know, once we start talking about it, it's normal and that can give a much lighter load on your shoulders and it can give um, a much brighter view into life, I think. I really hope that if women see this, um, they can find their way to Majlis al Amal, to Al Jalila Foundation um, and, and find that support. As part of my healing. Mm -hmm. um, my tumor was removed and I was given an ileostomy. An ileostomy is a little piece of, um, in this case, the small intestine coming out of my tummy so that instead of going to the bathroom, waste is caught in this bag. So what we do, I, I wear a two piece. Mm -hmm. There are also one pieces 
um, they're bags that you can't open and you just throw them away every time. I wear this one. I first of all make the hole a lot bigger. I prepare my skin. Then I put this on my skin and this helps keeping the waste away from my skin because when it comes out at that level, it's very, very acidic. So we put this on and then we put the bag and we press it on like that. And it will stay, for some people it stays for a day, for some people it stays for several days. If I'm really lucky, I have it for about five days and then I um, just change it. And during the day I go to the bathroom, every time I go to the bathroom like normal people, I can empty it over here. It's The material it is made of um, keeps away every bit of smell. That is something that people get it, uh, that people are, are very afraid of in the beginning.